Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to get a world record. And that is something that has been elusive for a lot of people. Simply because a lot of modders are actually holding 10 second world records, which none of us can beat. So here's a way, but you will need a friend on this. That is using the arena job record. And the thing about this is that you don't need a custom vehicle. You don't need to own the arena workshop and you can still participate in this. So what you will have to do is to start a job under Arena and then just choose Wreck-It 1, 2 or 3 and then you can invite your friend. Me, I'm going to use two accounts here as I've got them on separate PCs. Ideally, you will want to choose the bikes because they are easily maneuverable and it's a lot easier to control your speed. So here I have the screen split into four. So not only can I show you what's happening in the race, as well as the timing, I can also show you the notifications that actually pop on the lower left corner. So once you're ready, just start the race and wait for the countdown. And you will need to coordinate between yourself and your friend closely because you more or less have to travel at the same speed with your friend when you're passing the checkpoints or the final markers. So when we start, we will travel to the first checkpoint, but we will not cross it. What we're trying to do here is to make time pass. But if you do not pass the checkpoints, after some time, you will start losing health and you will only stop losing health when you actually pass the checkpoint. So by waiting just before the checkpoint and passing time over here, we make sure that we do not lose too much health before we actually pass the first checkpoint. So we're going to do this uh, across all the checkpoints just to make sure that time passes and we get the worst timing we can for the very first lap. I didn't calculate how long you have between the checkpoints just before you start losing health. But the moment your screen starts flashing red, it means that you are losing health already. So right now, both my characters are just going to sit at this checkpoint and let you see how the screen flashes red when you are about to start losing health. If you look at the timing on the lower right, it should happen at about the one minute marker. And then you can see the screen started flashing red just right before I passed the checkpoint. So once you pass the checkpoint, you will stop losing health. And we will just do the same for all the rest of the other checkpoints. We recommend that both you and your friend pass the checkpoints at almost exactly the same time. Just so that you know if your friend is going to start losing health. Because then the timer will be the same. Now I will just fast forward this till we are at the final checkpoint. Which would be the lap marker. So now we're both waiting at the final lap marker and we're supposed to pass it uh, together as much as possible. I'm actually going to slow this down even further so you actually see what happens when we pass the markers together. So in slow motion, as you see us pass together, you will see the message that the world record has been achieved. Not only that, one person will receive 5000 RP while the other person will receive 2150. And that is how you are able to get your world record that still works in-game as of Sunday. So what you've seen just now is that um, both characters are actually very close together, passing the lap marker at almost the same time. So you ask what happens if one person passes uh, before the other. If that happens, the person who passes first will get the world record, while the second player doesn't get anything. Maybe a fastest lap. And in terms of getting 5000 RP or 2150 RP, um, I don't really know. Because while testing this, um, there has been instances whereby the person passing second actually gets 5000 RP. So I haven't really sort of figured that out yet. But I'll let you know if I do. So if you just want to go for the world record, you can actually stop right here. What actually follows after this video is how to earn RP for every lap. So you already know that one person will be getting 5000 RP while the other gets 2150. So if you keep running the laps like this, waiting in front of each checkpoint, passing the time, and only going past the checkpoint um, after your health starts dropping. So keep playing like that and try to stay together most of the time. 
and that will result in you and your friend gaining 5000 RP or 2150 RP every single lap. But one thing you have to keep in mind is every lap has to be faster than the previous one before you can earn that kind of RP. So now you can figure out why I had suggested that we actually wait at the checkpoints just to drag out the time so that we actually had a very long first lap, which is almost like four minutes. And now for the second lap, we're trying to drag the time so that we can pass the checkpoint maybe about like 3.30 or 3 minutes 20 seconds, which will still ensure that your second lap is a world record in order to get the RP. So this video is going to go on for the next uh, nine laps in order to show you what will happen and how to actually still get world records at lap number nine. So at the end of a 10 lap race, if you're the person who actually got 5,000 RP every round, take that times 10 and you'll get about 50,000 RP. Even for your friend, if he gets 2,150 RP every round, that would still be 21,500. But if both of you get a mix of 5,000 or 2,150, both of you will definitely get above 30,000 RP for 20 minutes worth of work. And I think that is a very good RP farm. You don't have to wait for an event for this. You don't have to own an arena workshop for this. You don't have to own any arena vehicles for this. And you can actually do it when you are at a very low level. So using 20 minutes for an average of about 35,000 RP is basically one of the best methods out there for you to level up. And not only that, every lap that you finish, if uh, both of you are actually staying very close together, both of you will keep racking up world records as well. So if you want, you can follow the rest of the video just to see how much is being earned. And if your health is actually getting pretty low, your friend and you can actually go into the pit stop together just to regain health for the rest of the laps. Just remember that once you're at the pit stop, lap marker will be the checkpoint that is right in front of you after the pit stop. So after you're done, you can actually approach the marker together and it will still allow you to get the world record and the RP as long as you are within certain distance of each other. So now that you have seen how it all works, I think you should all go and try it and earn some RP for yourself. If you want, you can actually continue to watch the rest of the race just to see how much RP that uh, both uh, characters are actually getting at uh, the end of each lap. The video will be in slow motion when they're actually passing the lap markers while the rest of the race will be sped up. At the end of the video, I will also include a look at the award that was completed for the world record. So in the meantime, I will just leave you to the video.
So after a race is done, I am going to go into stats and that will be in the pause menu. It wouldn't really show anywhere except for awards and the only category that you really need to take a look at will be victory. The achievement will not be listed in the vehicle section, but most definitely in the victory section. Let me just scroll to that. And here it is, the record holder. So again, at the moment, this is the only method that you can get a world record, save for trying out on the new races, and definitely not on the old ones because you can't really break a 10 second world record. And with that, a very, very big thank you to everyone, not only for following the channel, but also for supporting and watching all the vids that I roll out. Do drop a like and subscribe to this video when you can finally get a world record for yourself. You guys have always been amazing and please continue to be so. And with that, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice weekend or whatever's left of it. Have a great week ahead. Take care and I hope to see you in my next video.